Huh. Oh. And welcome back to a Gator Snapper playthrough of Pokemon Coliseum, the game from my childhood that I've already bastardized within the first episode. So, oh boy, here we are. Cool trench coat kid that might have been involved with a school shooting and little girl that's a demon. And we're in, like, the most hip and happening fucking town, judging by the soundtrack. Alrighty then. Hello. What are you, little friendly fella? hoo wah 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 Hmm. You've seen some shit, haven't you? I understand. I'm part of a team that calls themselves Snag'em, so... Yeah, we are both in a shitty boat. Anyways, let's go find the fucking mayor. He apparently has some important fucking information for us. That or this little fucking girl here who's just wigging out just for me walking. Oh my god, she is she is demonic, all right. But yeah, there's information in this town, and she's okay. Speaking of dark, evil presence, be you man or be you woman, or be you just fucking gender neutral. It's hard to tell. I like your skirt. Hmm. I guess you're a traveling trainer. I like what I see in your expression. Looking at my dick? No, no, I'm just trying to figure out what gender you are. Your hair is so long and flowy. Jesus, it's like you're fucking Sephiroth in the flesh. Foo, foo, foo. I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. Probably at the end of the game, because I'm pretty sure I don't fucking show up at all until then. Goodbye, my child. What the fuck? Alright, these people are weird. Bet I can find some weird fucking wiki article about how that's actually this character's dad. I mean, they look similar enough anyways. I bet you could still write them as fucking, what is this? Oh no. No, I don't want to be here anymore. What the fuck are you? Jesus! I could grow my hair out like that if I wanted to. Ha! Huh, you must be travelers! Welcome to Fenac City! I am Escade. Wow, we are... We are on the other side of the Pokemon planet, aren't we? These are some strange names. The mayor. Now you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? Sorry, I lost all the Botox in my face and now I'm melting back into my skull. Oh, uh, hey, I, I don't know if I want to take over this town anymore. Um, er... Uh, oh, uh, what would I do for a pretty old lady like you? Fuck, I saw it! I saw the evil face of the god you believe in, and it is ugly indeed. I saw it. What did you see, besides what you literally just explained? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. But I saw a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. Is it, isn't that what we used Pokemon for in the first place? I mean, the black aura could easily just be a, a, a move that we've taught the Pokemon, but... They fight to the death for us already, don't they? And that Pokemon would attack people! Once again, not not all that strange. We we do that in this universe. Uh, uh Pokemon like a fighting machine. It attacks people. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. This shit happens all the time. Now, if it were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it's a little hard to believe because you're a woman and I don't trust you. It's true. It's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. This is really, really stupid, and I hate all of you people, and I hate the fact that I've been dropped into this universe. At least I'm cool looking. Hmm, I see. I understand that all the investigation was although the mountains got worse. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I don't need the thanks. Mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially if those are dangerous like you. I'm seeing just a pile of flesh trying to hit on a, a young, like, 13-year-old girl. All right, give me time for that. This is for this. Oh, you appear to be Pokemon friends. I urge you to visit the Pokemon Stadium. It was a great Nintendo 64 game. It was a breathtakingly beautiful stadium. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Okay, I guess she's just fucking hiding behind me. Let's check out what's going on in this guy's upstairs room. Can, can I? Yeah! Fuck, it's not Pokemon if you don't break into people's houses. Hey, hey! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Damn, Mayor, you getting down dirty, aren't you? With your weird fucking fleshly gross self. Hey, what's going on, lady? Oh, hi, aren't you a cute guy? I'm not a fucking whore at all. Giggle, must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. I, you have not met her. Or unless you're talking about yourself, I'll travel with you for a little while, but I don't know if I have the money for it. Oh shit, the news! It's so fucking extreme! 
This is a repeat of an earlier news story. Team Snagum member was arrested after being found at Eklo Cannon for the Snagum hideout explosion. During interrogation, the Snagum member revealed the explosion was a clash between Snagum members. The explosion apparently destroyed the snag machine used for stealing Pokemon. Have you caught on to the fucking theme of this game yet? It said only the large snag machine was destroyed. The small portable snag machine appears to be taken by a Team Snagum member who blew up the Team Snagum hideout. I have to say snag one more fucking time on this news program, I'm, I'm quitting. Ah, uh, do it, you dumb bitch. I don't think we're supposed to be seeing this. Let's just move on with uh, whatever the fuck it is we're doing. Pokemon Stadium, huh? Sounds like a good time. I can have fun with that. I am. I just. I really revel in the fact that I'm going to just like destroy children at a game of fucking Pokemon. Is this a stadium or is this just a fucking weird Star Wars thing? Weird Star Wars dome. About to learn the force up in this bitch. Hello, welcome to Fenac Stadium. This is where we register trainers for challenges. However, the current challenge has already started, so get the fuck out. Please come back and enter the next challenge. You're still all gonna have to pay for just talking to me right now. Why did I even come here? That old fucking piece of shit mayor lied to me. He just wants money from the good people of this town. Don't you agree, little girl? Isn't this city stadium amazing? Oh, I wish I could soon battle at a stadium as fabulous as this one. Yeah, let's get out of here. If I remember correctly, the first stadium we battle at is actually a real piece of shit. Like, it is just garbage in its entirety. Hello, bald individuals. Hey, dingus, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor motherfucker. Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you rip off the snag machine. You got some nerve. What the fuck? Who are these bald individuals? Who are these people? Are they... Are they Team Snagum? Oh, and what do they mean by traitor? Dingus, you mean... You're actually bald too? No, this is real hair. That's right, pretty lady. Why is everyone hitting on this girl? She's not even all that cute. He's from Team Snagum, just like us. But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best in Team Snagum at snagging Pokemon without fail. I... Hold on. I feel like you said something really offensive. Did, did you just try to say something really offensive? No, he's just a snagger. Stop saying that. No way, is it true, Dingus? No. Why would it be true? Oh, you gritted your teeth, didn't you? Didn't you? So that's three strikes that I know of where they give you a fake choice. Cool. And it must be true. That's a little shocking. I guess our adventure is over as soon as it started. I'm just gonna keep lying to everybody. Hey, Dingus, come on, hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. No, snag machine, Dingus, you really have something like that? No, this is just the cool robot arm, I swear. It only kills half of the people it interacts with. The snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts a snag machine on, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from the trainers in battle. Are you glad that I offered this fucking thrilling backstory to you? No, shut up, you blabbermouth. Keep that stuff secret. I get it, Dingus. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. No shit. Creeps, I'm offended by that. We just all look exactly the same, but we're nice guys deep down. This is getting us nowhere. If you won't give it to us willingly, we'll take it by force, I say. All right, let me just fucking beat up your goddamn Zubats or whatever you got. Not like it's gonna be any trouble. It's probably a zigzag. Oh, it's a oh, what the fuck? They have cool starter Pokemon. I mean, yeah, trust me, Umbreon and Espeon, I guess you're pretty cool too, but what the fuck, theirs are way cooler. Alright, let's just get this fucking show on the road, beat up some fucking poor individuals that don't know any better. Espeon, you know what to do with the poison, just explode it. Because, you know, the main thing with uh, fucking Pokemon weaknesses is that Psychic is really good against poison. I don't even know why I'm saying it like that's fucking fake. It's true. It doesn't make sense, but it's true. I could look up the reasoning for it. I felt like I learned the reasoning for it when I was playing Moemon, but fuck if I know. Secret power, go! So secret. Is it gonna turn into a grass move? Nope, it's just garbage, as always. Man, I forgot about Corefish. I think I'd seen one in Moemon, but it, it probably looked stupid from what I remember. And again, it looks pretty stupid right now looking at it, so... Yep, who knows. Alright, let's just fucking... Bite the shit out of it. Uh, return. That should be good. I think the more I use return, the more friendly my Pokemon get anyway. So, yeah, they're okay. I guess our friendship isn't good enough for you, is it, Espeon, huh? You just have to fucking only put in half effort, huh? He's a shit little fucking. What are you, a cat? Are they dogs? Are they cats? What are the SP? What are the Eons, I guess? Maybe they're just a mix of both. Whatever they are, they have been horrifically sexualized. I am so sorry, Espeon and Umbreon. 
Oh shit, I forgot. I need to heal my guys after fights. This isn't easy. this isn't your typical RPG where you just heal over time. I don't think you do heal over time now that I think about it. Also, I saw an oh wait, that's a shop. I thought it said IHOP. I was like, ooh, sweet, let's go to IHOP. No, I'm not good enough. Please, God, tell me why. What have I done to deserve this? This mediocre treatment of my life. Blast you, Dingus! Don't you think this is over? We're gonna get that snag machine back, just you wait. Not like where it's three of us and two of you, with one of you being a little girl and the other being an anemic kid that thinks he's cool looking. No, we can't just hold you down and take the fucking snag machine. We gotta beat you in a fair Pokemon fight. Anyways, later. Damn, this society's stupid. Well, what do you know, Dingus? So you're from Team Snagum. I guess I can't judge you too harshly, seeing how I'm from the fifth level of hell. Ah, to be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay, Dingus. It doesn't matter to me who you are, because we're already shipped together. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. Exactly what I just said. We are shipped together. It doesn't matter. Besides, I thought up something after listening to those creeps. Listen, Dingus. We should go shopping for some balls. Oh, oh, are you saying something? Are you saying I'm not good enough? I like how she backs up when I fucking push my way at her. Like, I'm not good enough for you? Alright, said the shop, right? Can't we just go to the Pokemon Center? Can't they just combine the two into one convenient thing? Ooh, man. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's sort of a nostalgic thing, but I love the little environments that this game has. I just like RPG environments in general. I felt the same way about Tales of Symphonia. I feel like the new Tales games got kind of boring, though. Like, um... With their environments. I guess the cities are cool, but everything else is just kind of like, ugh. Then again, now that I think about it, the, um, what would you call it? Wait, they don't have Pokeballs? What the fuck? The, um, shit, he really doesn't have Pokeballs. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Tales of Symphonia and the other games of that same time period had pretty fucking shitty, um, what do you call it? Like, environments that you'd go through, because it's just like you'd go as a big, big avatar that just walked through a green landscape. It was pretty bad. Like, it wasn't the greatest. Jesus! Where do I get Pokeballs in this shitty little town? Little girl, Herx, where do I go? You said go to the shop, right? They don't have shit here. Did I just... Did I see Pokeball and just not buy it for whatever reason? Or do they... Okay, no Pokeball there. I'm, I'm sorry I'm doubting myself in such a stupid way, but it just seems like this is the case. She said go to the shop, right? Jesus, this is what always happens. I read out the words they say, and yet for some reason I just... I, I never remember what they actually say. It's the funny voices. They take it out of me. Okay. Well, I guess this shop doesn't have what we're looking for, Hertz. So let's just move on to the Pokemon Center. Maybe this town just sucks. I mean, I'm not really surprised. God, they just keep playing this goddamn harmonica nonstop. So obnoxious. Alright, maybe it's in the Pokemon Center. It does not seem to be the case. Ooh, hey, I see you have a basement. What kind of dirty, nasty things you have down there, madame? Also, you're not Nurse Joy, and I don't appreciate that. You should be Nurse Joy. You're just some other lady. They really, like, they really made this game different from what other Pokemon games were. Oh, hello. What is this? Are you... I'm terribly sorry with getting things written. What is this? Is this the dead, the Poke uh, storage? What's going on here? Would you like to access? It is! Oh, and I can save. Good, I should probably do that. Um, can I talk to her? No, I can't. So I can't just ask her where the fuck this thing is she was talking about. She said the shop. She said the shop. It would make sense to be the shop. Hi, oh, yeah, it's another good-looking couple from earlier. God, why do you keep fucking putting us together? Did you manage to find anything? That's right. That's great, then. Wait, no, 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 hold on. I didn't mean to say yes. Hold on, come back. Oh god, why are you so fit? You're so much quicker than I am. Okay, I'll just I'll get them, man. I'll cut them off in the pass. Hey, I need to actually, I need advice. What am I doing? Is that right? It's gotta be vexing. I know, it's about Pokemon. There's the pre-gym. Ew. It's actually called the Prestige Precept Center, but everyone just calls it the pre- the pre-gym. Too many pre's in here. For skilled trainers to work on their own abilities, as well as their Pokemon. Find many trainers are knowledgeable about Pokemon. Pre-gym's real. Okay, go to the pre-gym. Got it. I'm not even listening to you anymore. So this thing, right? That's, hmm. He said raised part of town, but this isn't really raised. It's kind of down. I think I remember. This is it, though. I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah. Hey, lady. Hi, welcome to the pre-gym. This is a place for trainers and Pokemon to sharpen their strength and skills with your mind and spirit. Body and spirit. I know my lines. Shut up. Don't fucking look at me like that. And there's nothing here. Cool. So I was told to go here for, like, no reason. Where the fuck are the Pokeballs? Hey, are you people important? Pokemon gain experience by winning battles. Once they gain enough experience, they level up. But level up, they learn different moves. It's up to the trainer to smash those moves. Alright, this town sucks. I'm out of here. She said get Pokeballs. I went to where the Pokeball should have been. 
not find the Pokeballs. Maybe I should have talked to more people. Maybe they would have said that there's like a Pokeball deficit going on or something. Or maybe I'm just supposed to go to another town. She said she came from a town west of here. Maybe I should check that out. Or wait, do these things? No, this is just Gachapon. No Gachapon for me, thank you. I have already wasted enough money on that. Oh, exactly. I knew I should have talked to people. Come to think of it, I haven't seen any being sold in this town. Probably because people have figured out how to convert them into kidnapping things. Wait, I think I heard someone saying that they sell Pokeballs at the outskirts stand. It's east from here. It's that fucking thing you were already at before. Alright, I'll fucking backtrack, I guess. Typical RPG moment, already fucking going back and forth and whatnot. Well, anyways, I think, I, I think I'm gonna end this episode right here. Don't know, once again, if the fucking time is gonna be right or whatnot. I have a feeling with a game like this where I can just fucking talk my ass off reading other people's lines, I should have an easy time fucking hitting 15 minutes or not, so, eh, whatever. So yeah, this has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one where Gator Snapper gets the 15 minute mark. Later, everybody.